and we've automatically now transitioned to the fourth and final waypoint in the chain. Also, I can update that uh, with the suspend function on my Avers. And here on the arc page, you can see we got the um, uh, outside navigation beacon at about a one o'clock position. And now we're getting the audio signal from the station as well. And the, the two green um, markers uh, here on the Abrus, those indicate the outside beacon and the inner beacon. So once I get about parallel to them, I'll go ahead and turn into final. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disable automatic flight mode. Take some speed off. Sierra filled off to the right. I'll go ahead and start initiating my turn. And up ahead here in the field, you can see the uh, the outer beacon uh, facility. So right now I'm at about 110 meters, moving 195 kph. Right at 1G. Passing over the beacon. You see the uh, inner beacon up your head and the uh, landing lights. Go ahead and drop the gear down.
bring it to a near hover at the runway uh, threshold, and then I'll move over and land on the uh, parking ramp. And initiate auto hover. And I'll gradually set her down. And there you have it. That's a uh, overview of navigating in the uh, Black Shark. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.